So a lot of people are wondering, <clears throat> why do so many men date trans women? So I'm going to give you the short and sweet answer. Uh, sorry if you hear any noises throughout my house, because like one person's awake. So let us say this. When it comes to dating, and I want to specifically say straight dating specifically, because when it comes to lesbian and gay dating, it is less likely to happen. Because when you look at social stigmas and all this stuff, you know... Gay men are, are gay men are more likely to talk to other men, you know, as lesbians are, are more likely to talk to women. But let me finish because this sounds weird. When it comes to societal standards, it is much more rare for women to, you know, be like there are more their dominant women and submissive women where men are usually more dominant. There are submissive men when it comes to the dating field who don't try to pursue like an interest women come to them or something you know they try to get person to come to them instead of going up to walk to them where most and that applies to basically you have you have more dominant men when it comes to gay relationships you have more submissive but some dominant when it comes to women so when it comes to straight men you know asking a woman on a date most men that do it are dominant people you know they, they're the people to go up and want to a girl and be like you want to go on a date and all this this and this and a lot of the men are straight guys who don't know the woman is trans and they freak out because of a lot of stigma that's been created by everybody by saying oh my god you didn't know this person who looks and just and who looks and everything like a female was you used to be used to be this at one point and they're just like ah ha 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 like I, I don't know like it is reached such a point where it's not even like oh like oh you you asked this person out you didn't know they were trans you know because some people you know like oh i'm sorry i'm not interested and go on their day at least those people at least had the courtesy to go thank you oh, i'm sorry i'm not actually i'm interested you know that right there is is a lot better than somebody going Ugh, going Ugh, i gotta beat the shit out you now and i, I think the, i think the main reason is because Men don't exactly, nobody really asks a person if they're trans because I feel like that would be insulting to cis women and a trans woman, you know, to go around asking this person if they're trans because the whole point of passing is so nobody knows that you're, you know, trans, you know, they see you as a, you know, a passing cis woman and everything. So when a lot of this stuff, like ignoring the, the transphobes, a lot of, you know, the people are just like, oh, I didn't know. And they're very worried about, they're insecure about themselves. And I, before somebody says this, because I know a lot of people say this, and that's, but it's because their masculinity is, is so very toxic. That's why they always beat trans women. But there are cases where women actually beat trans men for being trans as well. They're less frequent because trans men are more likely, are more, I'll sum, I'll sum it up like this. You will hear about trans women more than you will hear about trans men. And that's not even me joking. Like, if you told me, if, if I, if I... Didn't know trans men existed. I'd have been sitting there like, you, you mean a trans woman? I would have been like, what are you, what, are you, what the fuck's a trans man? Like, that's not even what I mean. Trans men are just less brought up as a whole. Where trans women are brought up because penis. That That's it. That's, that's it. Everyone's like, penis. This, all of this. But wouldn't that also apply to trans men? But nobody applies to trans men because cause everyone sees them as women. Even other women. Which is a little bit insulting. But I think that's the whole fucked up point that I'm trying to bring up is a lot of people, you know, see penis and go, I don't know, see if that's pretty gay. And I'm just like, no. Like, if you if you told me that, you know, if, there were, if you told me it was the other way around, people would be probably be more disgusted. But I think it's coming from the fact that, you know, trans men are less likely to, like, when it comes to a lot of relationships, you know... Trans men are just very quiet. They're preserved, basically. And I, I, pre, I think, yeah, that's the right word. I was gonna say reserve. No, it was preserved, right? You know, they're 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 more seen as women. So when people, you know, even dominant and submissive people interact with a, a trans man, they are less likely to go and get aggressive because a lot of people think, oh, you used to be a girl. They're trying to treat them like a man with you know, respect, but they're also thinking them as a woman who's frail and petite. But with trans women, they just see a man with you know a wig and a dress and it's very insulting i might have to add because imagine going up to somebody and looking at them and go "Ugh, you're fucking disgusting for existing because of a penis and some and a lot of them point a lot of the points ignoring like a lot of them hate it more 
because of Pina, but it's such a mess because a lot of people just don't think about the fact that when it comes to dating people, men are more likely to pursue what is considered attractive, and you know, a lot of trans women are attractive. So what is wrong with them dating a trans woman? Everybody else's opinion, apparently. But I don't get why that should be important. If you like somebody, then tell people to fuck off. A real man, literally, and I need to say this because a bunch of men are pussies nowadays. Uh, a real man doesn't give a shit what other people think. If he wants to pursue his happiness and be with whoever he wants, then he should be. Only a little bitch listens to what other people say. <laughs> but I'm saying this because it's true. Think about it. If you're if you're gay, lesbian, or bisexual, or anything, if somebody is telling you you're wrong, fuck them. They're stupid. Get them out of your face. They're dumb. Fuck, do what makes you happy. Fuck, fuck, that That's such a simple tool. And people always talk about be a man. And yet, when people act like a man, everyone acts like a little bitch. But when people act toxic and actually disgusting as an individual, wow, such praise for telling this person they are awful for wanting to be happy. But it's it's so ridiculous. Like... Stop it. You're not a man. You're a fucking beta male complaining about someone being happy. Just let people be happy. That's such a simple goal. I, I like, like, come on. Come on. Is this really a debate that needs to be had? I don't debate whether st- straight people should have kids. I don't debate whether gay people and LGBT people should have kids. I don't debate who goes in the fucking bathrooms. I don't look at lesbians and go, oh man, they're going to go bother women in the women's bathroom. I don't, I don't look at women and say they're going to bother women in the women's bathroom. Do you see men bother men in the women in, in the men's bathroom? No. Do you see trans women bother any woman or harass? No. Ironically enough, it's the men who harass trans women. Same thing with cis women harassing trans men. Like, what? And a lot of the movie I hear, I've heard, I heard a few stories where literal cis men would harass trans men in the bathrooms, and you know, cis women harassing trans women in in a female's bathroom, like bothering them, like like what? You're doing all the same shit because they thought this person was trans, and only one of them was right, and it was about a trans man, surprisingly. But it doesn't get brought up because the media doesn't give a shit about, you know, trans men. If, if you said a trans woman, they were like, this guy is a hero for harassing this woman. But, you know, this is the day, this is the day and age we live in, so, you know. So, thank you for watching this video as I, you know, put my head down, like, my little, little thing. I'm just so, this is so dumb. Just let people be happy. I don't feel, I feel like we shouldn't have to go into such, like, detail, like, why? But I think the real issue is that we talk about the outliers and not the actual people. Like, look at politics. How many of you see this crazy person and think this is this is the whole representation of a group? How many people see a police officer and go, oh, this one police officer kills people? All of them are bad. No, it's outliers. Outliers are the ones that usually get brought up in media the most. Why do you think you see so many people compare Jessica Yaniv to every trans person when she's just one disgusting individual? She's literally the most disgusting individual on the planet. I don't even know if this person is trans. But I can tell you, they're a disgusting, despicable person. And the reason I'm saying this is because when you look at outliers and comply them to an entire group, a lot of people, you know, comply and go, well, that's out. this outlier means everybody. Basically, one spoils it for all, which is a dumb mindset everybody has, and it needs to be stopped because it's retarded. So stop that shit. It's fucking stupid.